In this tutorial, we will going to set up app plugin ads in the Indie project. First, go to Tools, Mobile Monetization Pro, Integration Tool, and here choose the integration to be mobile ads and the ad network to be app plugin. First, download the app plugin SDK. Click on Download the latest Unity plugin. Open this Unity package. Click import, click apply, click on import required scripts, click import, great. After this, you can install the Google Mobile Ads SDK for the GDPR. Now, I have already installed the Google Mobile Ads for the GDPR. If you have not installed it, just click on here and install the plugin and import it in Unity. Go back to Unity. Let's close this. Clear the console. Click on Assets, External Dependencies Manager, Android Resolver, and click on Resolve. Click OK. Right click in the hierarchy. Create an empty game object and call it as Ads Initializer. Go to Mobile Monetization Pro Tools, Mobile Monetization App Level Manager. Scripts, drag and drop the mobile monetization pro app level initializer. Right click in the hierarchy, create another empty game object and call it as ads manager. And this time, drag and drop the app level ads manager over here. Go back to the ads initializer and here make sure to enable this checkbox for the GDPR consent message so that we can display the GDPR consent message. If you want to learn how to create the GDPR consent message, please watch the previous tutorials on how to create the GDPR consent message in the ad mob. For the SDK key and the ad unit IDs, let's go back to the browser and go to dash.app11.com login for the SDK key Go to account and click on keys and here you will find your SDK key. Just copy and paste it over here. Click on max and go back to the add units. Create add unit. Give it a name. I will going to type size shift android banner android Choose the platform to be Android and here you need to provide your application bundle ID. Go back to Unity, project settings and here in the other settings you can find your package name. Just copy it from here and then paste it over here. After this, just choose the banner scroll down and click save you can do the same for the interstitial as well as the robotic video and wait you can follow the same process and create the ad unit ids for the I use platform as well. Just so I have created the interstitial banner and the rewarded and unit IDs for both the Android and the iOS. Let's go back to Unity and let's copy and paste in the IDs over here. Let's copy the interstitial for the Android. After copy and pasting the and unit IDs we can change some settings here for the show banner ads and start let's keep this checkbox to be enabled so that we can display the banner ads when the game starts if you uncheck it you will notice inside the ads manager script there is a show banner ad button here for example you can add a play button so when the player will click on the play button only after that 
the banner heads will start displaying in the game. For now, I will going to check it so we can display the banner heads when the game begins. For the banner position, you can choose it to be the bottom center. And for the banner background color, I will going to choose it to be white. Here, you also have the option to enable the timed interstitial ads. If you enable this checkbox, then the interstitial ads will be show only after X amount of seconds. For example, for the interstitial ad interval seconds, I have set it to be 10 seconds. That means after every 10 seconds, if I was going to click on the UI buttons that are responsible for displaying the interstitial ads, if we're going to display an interstitial ad, for example, if I set the interstitial ads on my reload button as well as on my play button, then only after 10 seconds timer is completed, the interstitial ad will be displayed when these buttons are clicked. If the 10 seconds timer is not completed and if I click on the reload button, for example, the interstitial ad will not display. So in this case, with this, you can improve the overall gaming experience for the user. So I will going to keep it to be checked. For the reset interstitial ad timer on rewarded ad, let's keep it to be checked so that after watching the rewarded video ad, we do not immediately show an interstitial ad to the user. It will take 10 seconds to display the interstitial ad, which could also help improve the overall player experience in the game. After this, click on the ad manager and here let's add the interstitial ads callbacks buttons. Let's click on the plus sign two times and here let's go to the canvas. Uncheck the menu and activate the gameplay UI. And here you can see the reload button over here. Let's drag and drop this reload button to the first field. Let's deactivate the gameplay UI and activate the level complete UI. And this time, let's drag and drop this next level button over here. So these buttons are responsible for displaying the interstitial ads. Let's deactivate it and activate the menu again. Go back to Ads Manager and this time on the Ad function for the rewarded ads callbacks and drag and drop this free coins button over here. If you look at the free coins, Basically, whenever we're going to click on this button, it will going to display and rewarded video ad. And will after the reported video ad is completed, will provide 5000 coins to the player. Go back to Ads Manager and here you can add a script for this. For this button, we need to choose a function to invoke after the reported video ad is completed. For this, you can drag and drop this shop script to here and choose the function show reward and then click save the changes basically we have added the script shop script and this shop script has a function called show reward which basically activates the reward panel in the game and provide 5000 coins to the player we are calling this function which is located in this script in the button that we have drag and dropped over here which is the free coins. Here you can create multiple rewarded ad functions and then simply drag and drop the shop script or any script that where your function exists and then just choose your function. Just make sure that your function is public so that it's accessible. Let's remove this from now. Click on save the changes. Great. Now we are ready to test the game on the Android platform. But make sure to go to Assets, External Dependency Manager, Android Resolver and click Resolve. We also need to make sure to go to App Loving Integration Manager and here scroll down and copy and paste the SDK key over here as well. And make sure to enable this option Set Advertising Attribution Report Endpoint in Info.plist and close this go to assets external dependency manager android resolver and click resolve go to file 
build settings and then just build and run the game on the android device before build and run make sure to add the test device for testing the app login ads go back to the browser and here in the max click on the test mode now as you can see i have already added me my android device to do this just click on the add test device enter your device name here to get the advertising id simply follow this process to get the advertising id for the integration testing first open google play store and here search for apps flyer install this application and open it up here you will get this mobile advertising id just copy it paste the advertising id over here and just choose the network you want to test in this case just choose app login and click save after this your device will appear over here here you can select this and even pause this as a test device if you want when you publish your game for now make sure that it is active go back to unity and now click build and run in case you receive this error you can solve this by go to this directory over here and open up the android manifest first click on the assets reveal in folder reveal in finder go to the library or here and here open the android manifest in a text editor just open up with a text editor make sure to remove this line from here so it should be like this and save the android manifest close it clear the console and build and run again now here you can see all ads are successfully removed from the game this is because we in the previous tutorials added the in-app purchase in the project and when we reinstall the application in the android device the non-consumable items got automatically restored by google play due to which the ads that we added in the game got automatically removed to fix this go back to unity select the in-app purchase manager and just disable this or deactivate it so that the in-app purchase manager do not get initialized just for the testing purpose we can deactivate the in-app purchase manager go back to file build settings build and run again open the application on the android device click on allow notifications and this is the gdpr consent message let's click on consent below you can see the app level banner ad let's click on play let's now click on the reload button this is the app level interstitial test ad let's close it now let's try to watch the reward video ad as you can see this is the rewarded video ad by app level let's close it and as you can see the player received 5000 coins great so we successfully tested it on the android device test on the ios platform first switch platform to ios go back to the app level dashboard and here click on add test device this time type ios device to get the advertising id simply follow this process go to app store and search for apps flyer and you need to install the first application and click open and here you need to copy this advertising id from here is the advertising over here and for the test network we will choose app login and click save great so we successfully added the ios device let's go back to unity and click on build you need to open this unity iphone xe workspace file just double click and open it up click on unity iphone choose the app category to be games make sure to connect your iphone device 
and hit run. Now let's open up the application in the iOS device. Let's click on allow notifications. Click next. This is the ATD pop-up. Let's click allow. Now this is the GDPR consent message. Let's click on consent. And below you can see the app Lovin banner test ads. Let's click on play. Now let's reload the game to see the interstitial ad. This is the app Lovin interstitial test ad. Let's close it. Now let's try to watch the rewarded video ad. This is the app Lovin rewarded video ad. Let's close it and as you can see we received 5000 coins. Let's click claim. Great. So we successfully tested it on the iOS device as well. Thanks for watching this video.